Okay, in this next section, section three, we're going to look at isometric drawings and as you read in the manual there, isometric drawings are just simulations of 3D drawings. They're actually just 2D drawings, so you can't revolve or do anything like that that you can do with a 3D drawing. So let's look initially, I suppose, at the setup of your drawing before before you get into doing it. So um, you can see the, the crosshair there at the minute, um, it's kind of a 90 degrees to each other, and sort of vertical and horizontal. But we need to set it up. If you look at Figure One in the in the book, the the isometric planes, um, we need to set it up at that 30, 90, and 150 degree angle, so we can get the lines kind of coming at that that isometric look to it. So we have an isometric feel. So if I right click on the the snap or the grid and then go into settings or DS is the is the keyboard shortcut for that. Up comes the drafting settings dialog box, and you want to look in the snap and grid tab. And what we've got to do to set up an isometric drawing is come down here to this snap type area. And where we've got rectangular snap, so you've seen the, the, the crosshairs in a sort of rectangular shape. If we select isometric snap, you'll notice the snap X spacing and that goes all sort of weird on us and so on. And if I click on OK on that, and you see we get our, our crosshairs are off at that sort of isometric look. So they're at that um isometric plane look if you like on on figure zero one now if I tap F5 you see the isometric plane toggles through so it toggles through the tree so that's the the left so if you can imagine looking at the screen it's kind of like on the on the left hold your left hand up it's on that face and then the top plane you can see it down there the command line as well and then the right hand plane so it toggles through those left top right and keeps toggling through those three planes by tapping on the F5 key. <coughs> also, if you hold Control down and tap E as well, kind of gives you that toggle as well. Just a word of warning on that. Um, I know I was caught out in, a, in, a, in an online test one time. I just happened to up up it came and asked, um, "How do you toggle the the isometric plane?" And I've kind of always been used to using the F5 key. I um, had totally forgotten about Control and E, um, and up it came on the screen, and it was uh, how do you toggle the F5? How do you toggle the isometric plane? And it was Control E, Control C, Control D, and Control B, or whatever, something like that. And I thought, God, it's none of those. It's F5. Uh, so you know, just be aware. You'll probably use the F5 key and completely forget about Control and E. But remember, you guys have to set an online test, so. Uh, just be wary of that one, don't get caught out like me on that one. So control and E also toggles, but like I say, you probably use the F5 all the time, but, but please highlight that one in your manuals so that you can kind of remember that one as well. Um, okay, so we've got our F5, we've got this set up, so again, we're now ready to start drawing isometric drawings. Simple as this. Now, I'm going to sort of veer away slightly from the book as well. The book gets you, if I go back into that, um, drafting settings dialog box the book gets you to put snap on and grid on but if you remember from level one we started off with snap on and grid on and we, we kind of quickly turned it off then um, pretty similar in, in isometric drawing the, the ones in the in the book as well are all sort of nice and handy and, and nice even numbers um, the actual test is slightly more difficult than the, the examples in the book and I'll give you a few sort of examples that are a little bit more difficult than this but you know you see they're all sort of to the nearest 10 mil or something like that the drawings in the in the practice drawings in the book which would kind of suit turning on snap and grid but you know i'm going to get you to not do that and just to draw as you would normally so if you look at figure zero three on page seven and let's just start drawing a line and where do i start well i don't need mine start somewhere around the bottom i'm not that pushed on where i start and you see it's kind of going sort of all over the shop on me so if I turn on ortho mode, look what happens. I get this. Uh, I kind of suggest don't be tempted to go in in um, with polar tracking turned on, because then you kind of really haven't sort of work out the angles yourself, and it's quite easy to kind of get caught out at the wrong sort of angle for your isometric drawing. So I'd suggest you use ortho. If you look, then you're only allowed to go in that plane. I'm in the left plane, so all I can go is in this direction and this direction. That's fine because I want to go straight up. 
Again, I use direct distance entry, so straight up it's a 60 mil cube. We're drawing, so type in 60, nice and easy. Now, I want to kind of bend in this way. You can see it's not going that way, so I don't have to go out of the command. I can just hit the F5 key, same into it there, and I want it going in that direction. And I don't know if it was any other direction, I could keep toggling through this until I get the direction I want to go in. So, this is the direction I want the next line to go in, and you can see it's kind of it's fixed. I can't really make a mistake on this one. So type in 60. Straight back down now, F5 again. And really, if I was in the right plane from the start, I would have been able to do this so much easier. So you see the benefit of actually having a look and, and seeing which plane, which face you're working on. So I come down here and do 60. And then I can type C for close, or I can type in 60 again. I'll just do C for close. And that's my first, first face done. So this time we're going to do the left hand plane. So let's just go straight to the left hand plane, draw a line, and I can snap to endpoints here as well. So I don't have to worry about snaps and grids. So 60, straight down 60, and I can come back 60 as well. So that's my top. And then go to the top plane to finish off the top. Draw a line, snap, 60, and I can actually. Oops, I didn't enter it. And instead of kind of going 60, I can snap to points as well. So just like standard drawing, except we're kind of restricted in the angles that we're, we're working at. So you can see very easily and very quickly, you can kind of draw an isometric cube. Okay.